Thrifting ain't easy, unless you're watching me. Perfect. Hey, hey, it's Monday on the Thrift Store Rundown, and welcome to the new Yoni Workshop, featuring the creativity of Pete Sesco. That would be me. All in an effort to help the new Yonis out there, today's teens and young adults, bring Hollywood home on a budget. And yes, this week is inspired by the new Yankee Workshop of PBS and a craftsmanship of Norm Abram. Hence why I got my plaid shirt on. <laughs> I've been binge watching the new Yankee Workshop on YouTube in remembrance of my dear departed dad, who was very proficient for power tools, and that became the foundation for this week of reviews. Go figure! And while we won't be doing any woodworking this week, we will be doing a lot of cool things. Cooking to start off, as always. Dancing. Uh, living while we're young. Decorating. Plenty of cool things to do. But first things first, as always, cooking. This time with a new old ally in town, Reed Alexander. If you've never heard of him, you've probably never seen iCarly. He played the nefarious critic Neville Papperman on the show. Nowadays he's known as an entertainment journalist for Business Insider, aka Insider. And as you're about to see, he's quite the young chef. Actor, journalist, and chef. Well, I stand, that is the triple crown of coolness. So it makes perfect sense to start off with his Cool Bikes cookbook based upon his acclaimed website of the same name, CoolBikes.com, of which I'll leave an internet archive link downstairs for you because it no longer exists. As one of the faces of Bill Clinton's Alliance for a Healthier Generation, we knows all too well the importance of preparing nutritious, delicious, and family-friendly dishes. And so he serves up a hundred of them in this one day of publication picked up from home base, unique thrift store here in Patterson for $3.99. All I need, the fork's in your hand, take it away. So my brand new book, Cool Bites, 100 Nutritious, Delicious, and Family-Friendly Dishes, it has just hit shelves nationwide, fresh off the presses, and it features 100 delicious recipes that run the gamut from pizza to pastas to seafood, a full chapter on desserts, I have a huge sweet tooth, breakfast ideas like Belgian waffles, and then there are things like apple pie or vegetable dumplings, an amazing array that anyone, whether you're an experienced pro chef or you're just breaking into the kitchen, can definitely take on. But as much as it is a cookbook, it's also a book about my tips, my strategies, uh, tools that are helpful to me, because the whole idea is lightening up your favorite foods and eating well and making wellness the priority, but keeping it fun and delicious. All right, my top three favorite dishes from Cool Bites. My vegetable dumplings, for sure. Every Sunday night in our household is like takeout Chinese night, but now we change up the takeout to take in. And we cook at home, nobody reaches for the phone book. I go to the supermarket, pick up all my must-have ingredients. We make it together as a family. Everybody has a job, and then we enjoy the meal together, so I love that. The vegetable dumplings with the lemongrass dipping sauce are so insanely good. For dessert, my mini chocolate lava cakes. They are just insane. It's like biting into a chocolate souffle. And when you break into the top layer, you get this molten lava core of, of chocolate, dark chocolate. It's rich and satisfying. My third favorite must have, maybe my uh, apple pie oatmeal for breakfast. That one's really good. If I mix apples and cinnamon and all these great spices and I spoon it right on top, it takes it to the next level. So three amazing must haves. Thank you guys so much. Be sure to check out my new book, Cool Bites, 100 Nutritious, Delicious, and Family-Friendly Dishes, on stands now. Hope you're hungry. Today, the critic's about to get a taste of his own delicious medicine, with nary a spoon of sugar in sight. Trust me, you might not need it to make this medicine go down. The food chapters in here are as follows, and for the most part, he plays it safe. Breakfast and buns, soup, salad, sandwiches, Main courses, pasta, grains, rice, sides, sweet and savory snacks, and desserts. Seven food chapters in all with a cool bites pantry listing here. A list of pantry and fridge staples you'll need. And a good many of them, healthy, good for you. And most of all, good tasting. Otherwise, what's the freaking point? 
let's begin with breakfast. As you know, it's the most important meal of the day, and it can also be one of the funnest meals of the day. As evidenced with this breakfast pizza, which will yield six servings. The toppings of these crustless egg wedges are the secret to their fantastic flavor. So it's basically like a quiche that's topped to the heavens, folks. A thin quiche topped to the nines. Here in Soup, Salads, and Sandwiches, we have a recipe for cool chopped guacamole salad. Colorful, flavorful, and all around wonderful. This is Reed's take on a deconstructed guacamole. A medley of avocado, onion, cilantro, and red and yellow tomatoes. That too will yield six servings. In the main section, we have here turkey meatballs with marinara sauce, which will yield three to four servings. That would be three to four meatballs per serving, ideally slathered on the spaghetti. The next page here features the marinara sauce without a photo by itself. I really wanted to highlight the chicken palm meatballs here, but that had no photograph. But if you want to see the recipe, there it is. That yielded four main dish servings. Six appetizer servings as well. Next up, Shanghai vegetable fried rice. Yes. It's fried rice in a sense that it's inspired by fried rice, but the technique is different. It's actually stir-fried in a wok, so it gives it the same level of authenticity as you would expect when having Chinese takeout. This is actually Chinese take-in, as Reed said in his Fan La La video. Stir-fried is a much more healthier way to do it than actually frying the rice. But wherever you stand on making this, it will yield four servings, and does look wholesome and delicious. This is a roasted vegetable medley. Hey, we're heading into peak vegetable season, which I believe to be fall. You can use root veggies in this. The veggies called for in here are mini carrots, maybe some squash, and zucchini. So it's three vegetables making up this roasted vegetable medley, which I should call a trio. That will make four servings. And you can season as you wish with any dried herbs that you like. Seasoning veggies is paramount, folks. They can taste bland if they're out of season and with have no seasoning whatsoever. Next up, we have here some cool crunch bars. These are energy bars with wholesome benefits. No more stocking up on those cheap energy bars at the convenience store. It's easy to make your own right here. And looks mighty scrumptious. The food photography in here is plentiful, decent in amount, and of course high in quality. And finally, this is one of Reed's top three favorites. And hey, judging by the photo here, it could become one of your top three. Maybe a silver medalist in a top two. Mini chocolate lava cakes. Dark chocolate, specifically the 70% or more cacao variety, is robust in flavor. So a little goes a long way. I'm just reading Reed's description here. Plus it's jam packed with antioxidants. These little cakes are so rich that just a few bites will satisfy. And that's the key. You know, the key is to be full on flavor and not just full on quantity. If the flavor fills you up and enriches you right, then, you're on to something here. That's why portion control is also key, but these do make a good amount of portions to feed the whole family. And the recipes themselves are as diverse as you heard we said, as they are delicious. And I emphasize the word delicious here because healthy cooking has to be healthy, but above all, it also has to be tasty. And if you ever visited Weed by, uh, Cool Bites by Reed Alexander, you would know that taste is crucial, and it's presented in spades. Which reminds me, have you ever tried one of Reed's cool bites on his website, or on this cookbook if you already have it? If so, you might be joining Joy Barra of the Today Show, Melissa the Arabian of Food Networks, $10 Dinners, and Lisa Lillian, you probably heard of her as Hungry Girl, and wife to icon creator Dan Schneider, who's kind of Freakazoid. <clears throat> in City the Prices of Weed Alexander's Cool Bites Cookbook. Oh yeah, you'll also be joining former President Clinton. 
and I join all of you, or maybe most of you, in giving this cookbook four and a half out of five claps. I should cost you just a few ingredients in here might not be that easy to find in a health food store, given how rather untimely this review is, how dated this cookbook is. This cookbook was published by Rodale in 2013, 11 years old. But still, this is a pretty common sense cookbook that is scrumptious above all. You know what today's most popular sayings is? Keep calm and fill in the blank from there? Here's another one. Keep cool and grab a cool bite. I promise you, in the long run, it's worth it. That's Reed Alexander's Cool Bites. Here's what's coming up for tomorrow. Tuesday. What will we snack on while we gossip? Pizza. The Great Equalizer. Cookies can be a bit too fat, and you don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Just so you know, there's no limit to Pointy Hardy with Home on a Budget. Please go ahead and check out another awesome review like this one by clicking here. And make sure you subscribe by clicking here. Until next time, I'll catch you, as I always do, on the flip side.